Hello, my name is Dan Oaks. I'm the creator of Cooking, and I'm sitting here next to my sister-in-law, Cora. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Cora, get this. We have some new features of Cooking version 13 to show you. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for your world to be rocked? I am totally ready. <laughs> okay, this is going to be awesome. You're going to love this. <gasps> yes. So check this out. I um, I have all these cookbooks, right? I mean, if you look at my thing here, I mean, I don't know. I haven't counted them, but there's a lot of cookbooks in my library. And I get new ones all the time because mm -hmm. we're coming out with them and so forth, and I like to have these. So yeah. here's what's the thing is sometimes when I find a dessert recipe, I don't want to always, like, move it into my own personal cookbook. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because then I have a duplicate. I can, mm -hmm. I can copy and paste it. Oh, yeah. Or I can move it. But I don't want to, but you don't, you don't want to do that. I hope people don't, right. right? Because you end up with duplicates. And the problem with mm -hmm. duplicates is it makes your database bigger. But the other. Yeah, it takes the, up space. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. not that big of a problem. But the biggest problem mm -hmm. really is when you search, mm -hmm. when you're like, hey, I'm looking for something to make for dinner tonight yeah. that calls for chicken and rice and whatever, right? When you do that, you're getting all these duplicates. Right? Yeah. So you don't really want duplicates in your database. So instead, we have this categories feature. Okay, so if I'm looking at a recipe like brownie bowls, I'm just picking this one randomly. I don't even know what this is. Okay, but um, I'm looking yeah, at this. You, you picked a pretty good one. Right? It looks like randomly. Yeah, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh man, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah. Like, I don't want to this one to get lost in the mix. Mm -hmm. you know? So what I do is you can actually you click can't have here. that. I know, it's right? too good. So you can click here on this categories tab so All we right. have the edit tab right here yep. the view tab right here and this one is the categories, categories. and this lets you categorize recipes this is like mm -hmm. tagging them or mm -hmm. labeling them do you use yes. gmail by the way for yes your all the time you know how you do labels and it's almost like folders yeah yes. and so forth well that's what this is so i'm going to go here okay. i'm going to desserts say, and cookies yeah, yeah i'm going to add this to one. my desserts and cookies one right that's that way i can keep track of it that. and so i'm going to save this all right so now i've got all the different categories now i can see all the recipes that I've added to this category. Right? Yeah. So these might be in all different cookbooks and so forth, you know. Mm -hmm. And okay. so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Right? It's right. a nice way. People are like, I want subfolders, a lot of people say. No, mm -hmm. you don't want subfolders because mm -hmm. here's why. Let's say you have um, a cookbook with a desserts chapter, mm -hmm. right? And you want to divide your desserts chapter so you've got your cookies, yeah, you pies, wanna, right? And cakes. pies and cakes, mm -hmm. yep. right? The problem with that mm -hmm. is when you have a recipe that fits in both categories. Like, let's say you have like a cheesecake pie, something mm -hmm. or other, right? Yes. Or a brownie cake recipe. Yeah, what do you it's do? Like, yeah, right? It doesn't fit into either one. Exactly. And then if you search under pie and it's under the cake exactly. one, that stinks. Yeah. Then exactly. you're looking for it and you're not going to be able to find it. Exactly. That's so it's a waste time. So, yeah, yeah. people keep, uh, some people, because you know why? I, I get that. One of our competitors who's gone out of business, by the way, Living Cookbook, okay. they have this feature. And we're getting mm -hmm. tons of people coming over from them, right? Mm -hmm. They're getting cooking and they're trying to migrate their recipes over and so forth and what's happening is they're saying hey um how do i do subfolders you know mm -hmm. in my chapters and we're like no mm -hmm. no no there's a better way yeah and the way to do it is with categories well here's what we added recently in well cooking. you're keeping it simple yeah it is it's the subcategories complicates things and it makes level. it a little yeah yeah, yeah. so here's here's what's cool that we added to this categories feature you can actually now right click on this okay and you can say export to word Okay, All right. So I can you okay. can do this with your cookbooks, but now we added this feature in Cooking Version 13. We added this to the categories feature, so I can choose Export to Word here, and I can save this and export all the recipes in this category to a Word file. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it exported successfully. Now when I launch Word, check out what it looks like. So now when I go to Word, I'm going to open this recipe or this cookbook. Now I have a desserts and cookies like cookbook, right? Yeah. And with Word, what you do is you right click here and you choose update field. Okay. Okay. And what it does is it then. Oh, there's the, <coughs> there they all are. Yeah, the table of contents. Yeah, it auto generates yeah. it with the page numbers and everything. And you've got your oh, recipes here cool. with your photos and so forth. Wow. So you've got this in Word. You can stylize this any way you want in Word. Oh, man. And when you go to the very bottom, of course, we've got the index. Again, you right click okay. here and you choose update field. Mm -hmm. And now you've got your the index, index. of all of them. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it makes like a, a cookbook. That is a book. I know, right? That is a book. He just made a book in so like forth. three seconds. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty cool? Mm hmm. 
So that's one of the new features in Cook and Version 13. Wow. Like I say, we're adding new features yeah. all the time to Cook and Version 13. It's just getting better and better. Yeah, you can print that off in family for Christmas or just um, friends. And I love yeah, that. Just have right? it there. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's like here's all my dessert recipes mm -hmm. from like all the different cookbooks yeah. in my library. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I hope you have fun with that categories feature. Use uh, that, mm -hmm. Cora, because yeah. a lot of people don't know about it. So now that you do, you can use that. And now you know that with Cook and Version 13, you can actually print the recipes in your categories yes. to a cookbook. Yeah, and they came out really nicely when you updated the field. It just came. It just isn't that cool. Yeah, it looked really good. You didn't yeah. have to do. Yeah, no formatting. Like, you don't have yeah, to like count pages kind of or anything like yeah. that. It does it all for it's you. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I like when things are simple, and you've made that really simple. I like that. 